So, Max, you know, we got a lot of people here listening to the podcast, mm -hmm. and I'm sure they're scratching their head going, well, you know, that's a great idea, Max, but how in the world do, how in the world can, can I get me a book, right? Mm -hmm. That's how the weirdest. They, how can they get a book? Yeah, well, great question. You know, I would love to come on here and say, you know, Jay, I'm just such a hot shot ninja marketer that I planned all this out. Nothing could be further from the truth. You know, if my market wasn't so competitive, I would have never spent 200 hours writing a book. I would have just kept, you know, getting, scooping up deals like most people were doing in that time in these like, you know, tertiary, secondary markets. But I didn't have a choice and um, it worked out really good. Here's what happened. I'm getting deals with my book. I'm in masterminds. You know, we're in a lot of the same masterminds. So I'm in this mastermind and my friends in there, you know, investors copy what works. You know, they don't, they're not trying to reinvent the wheel. And they're like, hey, I kind of like this. You know, I live in Florida. You're not using your book in Florida. Turns out we got seniors there too. You think I could use your book? And I was like, uh, I don't know, maybe, you know, I just didn't understand. And then my friend in Chicago is like, hey, can I use your book? Hey, they got seniors in California too. So what we did was we created a system. I brought in some of the who's who of publishing and we created a licensing program. Turns out the reason, the secret behind this book is that 99% of it is about stuff that our ideal prospect cares about. 1% is about us. Most marketing messages are like the opposite. All they do is talk about themselves and very little about the person. That's why they don't call you. It's like, I'm sending out all this stuff. Why are people not calling me? Because it doesn't look like you even understand what they're going through. So that was sort of the accidental secret sauce from this. So we created a system where we change about 5% of the book because, you know, the ways to sell a house in North Carolina, pretty similar to Dallas, pretty similar to California, the types of assisted living facilities, all that's about the same. And so now we just, so we swap them out on the cover. We give a custom cover and uh, they just pay us like a one-time licensing fee to set up their book. And in less than 30 days, they have a book and a workbook um, that they can hand out to prospects. Um, and so it's just, and they only spend about an hour or two of their time uh, filling out all the information we need to personalize it. We write in, you know, their story. So it just lowers the barriers. It makes it easier. And the folks that are usually a fit for our program are folks that are, you know, they're, they're active real estate investors. They understand the value of a deal. They've been, they have some credibility. They just haven't figured out a way to like, um, you know, signal it to the people they're trying to reach. They're, the phone isn't ringing like it used to. Those are the people that come to us because they see that us and we've had about 130 students that license one of our four book systems um, across the nation. Um, they see that this works and they don't want to reinvent the wheel. So yeah, that created a whole nother business that I never expected. That's where I got the award from uh, with Robert K. Uh, Jay, a funny story. And, and I didn't tell everybody this, right? It's kind of embarrassing, but you know, in 2005, I actually uh, tried to get into real estate. I was 25. I just got married. The problem is I wasn't reading, definitely wasn't writing books. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. So I researched CRMs all day, which is worthless. And I created an LLC, which is meaningless. And I didn't know anything about marketing or lead gen. I stood in line to get Robert's book for like two hours. And then I just ended up not doing anything. That's what happens to a lot of people. I just didn't understand what to do next. I didn't have a mentor. I didn't even know what that was. And then, so it's crazy to think. I never would have imagined a million years, 15 years later, I'm getting this award. We're sharing a stage together and we're exchanging books. I never would have imagined it. It was a really cool deal. So it can happen. Books are super powerful. And we believe that we've made it easier than ever for folks to plug in. And like I said, it's for folks who want to do senior housing. And then what happened was, is that, well, once you have a deal, what do you need after that? The money. So we created a licensing program. This is one of my students' books, uh, Leonard. I'm real proud of him. He's in Seattle. And because it turns out, guess what? Senior homeowners have questions. And when you give them the book, they look at you really different. It works the same way with private money lenders. Who knew? Um, so this is Leonard's book. And then we just, you know, swap out covers. Um, you know, here's, here's uh, Tim Davis's. So you see how they're different? The insides are the same. But here's the thing, the person you're given to doesn't care. They just want to solve their problem. They're just trying to figure out how to not get into a deal with a, a lousy borrower. They're just trying to figure out if this deal really has a discount or not. 
They just want to have their questions answered. So instead of going to a blog or getting a bunch of emails, which have a low perceived value, we give them something that has a higher perceived value and a higher level of expected authority and expertise. And we just educate and help people. We tell them this isn't for everybody. Pri being a private money lender on real estate is not for everybody. This is who it's for. This is who it's not for. This is my book. And if you want to go through it together, I'd love your feedback, you know, stuff like that. So it's been really cool. And he's happy because he didn't have to rewrite this himself. And then what we're good at is helping people apply it to their marketing. Cause just getting a box of books where you wrote one chapter with everybody else, dude, nobody cares about when you fell down a well and you overcame your struggles. They just care about themselves. What's in it for me. That's what all the homeowners are thinking. That's what all the private money lenders are thinking. They won't tell you that. That's what they're really thinking. So just give them that, but give it to them in a way that establishes your authority and your credibility and it's scalable. And that's pretty much what we do. And then we created a book system for Gene Garino. We just did his latest book, his students license it. And then we haven't even announced this publicly, but we just wrote a book for Eddie Speed and the Richard Thornton. And so their note students are going to license that out. That's brand new. We haven't even announced it, but I guess we've spoiled it a little bit. So it's been really cool to help people because everybody there wants to lead with more value. They want to educate. Well, I mean, what's who would ever say no to that? So it's been cool. Mm -hmm.